to the 570S Spider. I'm here with Tim, who's in my passenger seat, and obviously driven the 570S before, but this time we have this option. All 15 seconds it takes to put the hood back down. And you can do it while you're driving. And we can do it whilst we're driving. 15 seconds Wait, is actually a long time. Ready? There we go. Got it. Let's go. You know, every word has its little letter, every big letter, like the word no. Like, you gotta know yourself. Okay, no W. Okay, the middle of the word no. W got caps up. Obviously, 
the optional sports buckets. So I would we're definitely a bit, go for these. We're a bit lower in the car as well, a bit more sort of sporty feeling. It would be a bit more, a bit smoother, a bit more everyday if you had the leather sort of adjustable seats. Do you not feel like if you had the optional extra on these cars that you would whack every race option in there? I know I would. I want, I want carbon, I want race yeah. bucket seats, I want the whole shebang. And then you start looking at the options list and the prices. And then you do that? <laughs> and then you golf a little bit. I mean, I'd lose some weight because I wouldn't be able to eat for the next five years. <laughs> but, it, you know, it'd be fine. Doesn't matter if you're driving a 570S Spider. Precisely. Around <laughs> Northern Spain with the roof down. <laughs> ah, life. <laughs> so what have you made of the 570S? Of this car? Well, of the 570S Spider. Five, okay, the 570S itself is a great car. Yeah. Like how much? Or, uh, Have you what had one? You get, sorry. Have you had one? No, no, no. Oh, but what, oh, yeah. what you get for your money is basically sort of ninety percent of what you have in a six seventy five LT because you've got the technologies like the, mm -hmm. the engine, and gearbox, and setup in the car. Uh, you've got things like brake steer, carbon tub, rocker uh, switches for the, for the paddle shifters. You've got loads of tech even in here that the Super Series previous gen didn't have. Um, but as a car to drive, we've had some pretty fun twisty roads that we've been driving this in. Mm. The turn and feel and the, the balance of it and how sort of playful and controllable it is, is just brilliant. And then you think of the price point, it's the same sort of money as a 911 Turbo S and Audi R8, but it's... Yeah, I'd have, I'd have this over an Audi R8. Car. It's more of a supercar. Um, more performance, more drama, more excitement, more... Everything. To, to me, yes. Uh, and I'm obviously I'm a big McLaren guy. I've chosen to buy quite a few McLarens uh, to date. Uh, that's what I, I enjoy the enjoy the way they feel, the way they are. It's the in hand feel for me. It's the way it, when you pitch it into a corner. If you're carrying some speed, like you know, you can sometimes get a look. You get that sort of like the sweaty palm feeling, like oh my god, is it actually going to come out the other side? Like this, you feel like you could rocket it in, and you're going to get out every time. It's yeah. so it's so sure of itself. Yeah, it just pulls in, goes around, um, and then you put your foot down, coming out the corner, and away you go. <laughs> Coupes or convertibles? It, it's a nice, you know, the beautiful thing about like this is that driving along right now in a traffic jam. I was going to say with the roof up. Um, as we have to speak, yeah. The driving with the roof up feels like a coupe, right? Oh, absolutely, yeah. It's looks, no different. The looks are clean. It's not sort of like awkwardly proportioned. Um, so in a car like this, it has to be spider. I mean, I have the E six seventy five LT spider for that. You don't lose anything. But then, you know, not always spiders. My uh, Vanquish is the Vanquish Volante, which is the convertible, yeah. the big cabriolet. Oh, well, that's the one that I drove in, wasn't it? Yes. And um, that's a little bit different because. When a car is bigger like that, without the carbon tarp, it has a little bit more sort of flex to it than mm -hmm. the coupe does, for example. Uh, but in that instance, I particularly wanted the Grand Touring convertible because I think that's just cool. Um, so it depends on the car. In this, it has to be a spider. For like an everyday supercar, this thing is like sort of top hitting all the, ticking all the lists, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, for sure. Absolutely, for sure. Uh, there's enough space in the front, we've got luggage in the front. Um, you can use the roof, if the roof is up, you can put more storage back there, you can put some jackets and things in there. Um, it's comfortable, even with the sports bucket seats, they're pretty comfortable. Basically, um, it's, I mean, for me, this is like a, it is, it's a posing car. Like, you've got all the tech, you've got all the speed, you've got everything. But bottom line, this thing is, it just makes you look cool. Mm -hmm. Is that how you feel? So, I yeah, think so, I think so, in the yellow, for sure. Really, um, sorry? It's a massive poser, really, aren't you? <laughs> Six, seven, five, I like I like going out and driving, taking the cars, pushing them hard, using them how they're kind of built to be driven. Um, but one thing that's got me so far in here is that there's a bit of extra wind buffeting in this car. Yeah. Not at the moment. At the moment, there's no wind buffeting at all. Yeah. Surprisingly enough, given that we're not actually moving. <laughs> um, on the this is like traffic jam. Or some Spanish traffic. Yeah, heading into Barcelona. But um, at speed, there's quite a bit. Um, but yeah, I think it's I think it's cool. I think it's a great like if you want one car, or one exciting car. Yeah. I mean, maybe you can twin it with a hatch in the garage or something. But it's the one like you can have exciting your car. Focus RS, and then you can have your McLaren 570 Yeah, that'd be, that'd be a pretty cool garage combo. Actually. To be fair, I've thought this because I've never. You know me. I'm never ever gonna sell my E21. Mm -hmm. It's just it's gonna stay with me till I die, basically. I, I the perfect two car garage for me. I mean, I would. 
Mercedes versus GT2 RS. Yeah. This is cheaper than GT2 RS. Well, there you go. <laughs> but it's also less powerful. That thing has 700 horsepower. It's pretty mental, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, but the, but the perfect two car garage for me would be my Beamer and then have this pretty, like this. pretty little thing in the bright, sparkly yellow. Okay. So, what are my thoughts on the 570 F Spider? Well, it's just a beast, isn't it? I mean, the twin turbo V8, everything in it is quality. Like, even down to the indicators, the way everything clicks, the way everything moves, it is that bionic supercar feel. And for the money, it is just, it's killing it. I can't explain to you how excited this car gets me. Like, I, I really, really enjoy driving it. Of all the cars that I have driven, this is definitely one that really sticks with me.